Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Phil Bissimon again, uh, CEO of Action. I told you that we would be communicating with you on a regular basis, and in the vein of doing so, I wanted to make another uh, message here, a video, just to keep you informed of what's happening with the coronavirus in our nation, in our business, and the actions that we are taking with our associates and team for, for our customers. So again, if, just to remind you, the theme that we're, we're talking about, that you'll hear me talk about a lot, and you'll hear it in print, and you'll hear it everywhere in our organization, is about providing business continuity and doing that responsibly. So under the vein of, of responsible business continuity, we are certainly living in an unprecedented times, right? This is a fluid, dynamic situation that almost seems to have changes occur by the hour. Uh, we're gonna be proactive as we can as a leadership team and as a business to kind of stay ahead of that curve, anticipating some of the escalation and changes that will adapt, always keeping in mind under the framework of providing business continuity responsibly. Uh, when you think about the regulatory environment, the changes with federal and state governments that are occurring, uh, think about it even today, you'll start seeing another theme emerge. And I talked about it in an example of being in front of a Publix with three trucks coming behind the Publix and seeing the, the public reaction to the trucks coming in, kind of saving the day and bringing goods and services that are needed for families across this great nation. Well, that's even coming again and, and even loud and clear in the government proclamations that came out this morning around the essential, critical nature of what we do for our nation. Uh, the governors of California, governors of Pennsylvania issued proclamations of kind of stay in place and workers even stay in place and, and don't come to work so we can mitigate the, this contagious virus. And there are exemptions to that. And if you notice in those proclamations, the exemptions include our businesses and what we do because what we do is so critical and vital to our nation. So transportation and logistics, environmental services, things are critical that are critical to keep the country running are gonna to continue to, to work and flow to keep our nation moving. And I can't impress upon, I'm, it's humbling, quite frankly, to be inside this industry and know that when there's a crisis in our nation, we are mobilized and needed and critical to supporting this great nation, to supporting our business, to supporting our customers. Uh, so we're gonna to continue to do that. In the vein of responsibility and changes, the healthcare system is stepping up and Blue Cross Blue Shield, our program, we are stepping up as a company to help families, help associates in these hard times. Anything related to the virus uh, and testing and such and treatment, uh, there are enhanced coverages that are occurring that we've communicated to our associates already uh, in written form. So be reviewing those changes and communications as we are sending those out almost on a daily basis. Step back a little bit and the effect in our business, right now, thus far, there have been zero confirmed cases of the coronavirus with, it, with our associates or even in direct contact. We do have folks getting tested as a precaution that came into contact or perhaps may have been into contact with someone that has the virus or may have the virus, and we're gonna err on the side of caution from a testing perspective. We're gonna make sure that those folks first get tested so their health and well-being is taken care of, and we're, we're quarantining them as appropriately to mitigate that risk and the contagiousness uh, of, of this uh, uh, virus. It may be a matter of time before someone in our organization either comes into contact with somebody that has it with a confirmed case, or maybe even one of our associates or family members may have a confirmed case of that. When or if that occurs, we will be responsible in how we handle that. First and foremost, get that associate and family member taken care of from a health perspective. Get them the treatments they need uh, so that they can navigate through the virus. And then two, in conjunction with that, making sure they are uh, being quarantined away to mitigate, again, exposure and expansion of the virus. So we will continue to take appropriate actions, again, responsible business continuity. Um, from a staffing perspective, we talked about earlier in the week that we're working through uh, for our office teams what uh, a responsible remote uh, work option. We have about 50%, approaching 50% of our office staff uh, working remotely, supporting our drivers, supporting our field techs, supporting our customers. And thank you for all those folks that have transitioned and the leaders working with those folks 
to continue and ensure that we have the business continuity that we need and are able to deliver service for our internal and external customers. We appreciate that greatly. Uh, we are mitigating risk with our field associates, our drivers, our field techs, to ensure that we have adequate social distancing to so enhanced hygiene policies and processes, everything from wiping down our equipment and work areas to maintaining that appropriate uh, safe distance so that, again, we can all be part of responsibly in containing this virus. Our leadership team meets daily. Uh, every single day to talk about every business unit, every function, to talk about customers, our people, what's happening in our environment from a regulatory perspective so that we can stay on top of this uh, increasingly fluid situation. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you. Thank you to all of our associates, our customers who have been so resilient through this and it's been humbling, quite frankly, to see the sense of duty that our people have to keeping our business moving in support of our great nation. And may God bless you, your families, our business, and our country. Thank you.